Hey, welcome back to my channel. Rick loves Maria. This is Rick in South Carolina, and uh, uh, today it's a little cooler out. Uh, September 8th. Uh, got some clouds in the sky. It seems like uh, the hot, the extreme heat, uh, has gone for today. So that's really nice down here. I hope it's nice where you're at. I applied for a few more jobs online this morning. I found uh, a couple other jobs in, in the state of South Carolina that are uh, dealing with electronic medical records, things like that. So I'm feeling good about that. So far I've, I've applied for 40 different jobs <laughs> all over the place. Uh, even last night I woke up at one point and I couldn't sleep. So I, I went online and applied for a job in freaking Connecticut. Now, I wouldn't want to live in Connecticut for nothing. You know, I used to live in Massachusetts. I know how cold it gets. I, I would really not like to be there. But if it's not just something that I have to do for a couple of years until I can retire to the Philippines, that, that'd be fine. may have to do it. So, somebody's bracelets in the pool. Uh, where else did I apply? I don't even, I don't even remember. Some some places I applied for down near uh, Charleston, down near the beach. Um, you know, there's a lot of different places doing uh, analysis and SQL reporting and stuff like that maybe the system will be be a better a better system there was one company i applied for i think in fort mill that is a um uh, programmer uh, they they make the uh, medical record application is what it sounded like so um you know helping them test and debug the software make sure it works properly that's that's interesting work so, I don't know. Um, I also talked to a, a, a company that does uh, solar installation. I think there's a bright future in solar installation. No, no pun intended. I think uh, at some point it's going to become so cost effective that almost everybody is going to be trying to switch to solar. It's gonna, I think there's going to be a, a big boom and solar in the future at some point so yeah um, once it becomes affordable there's a lot of places in the world where we could save a lot of a lot of energy costs so I'm, I'm interested in learning more about that I'd like to ha have solar at some point on my roof just to uh, cut down on the expense you know I don't like power companies, gas companies. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, solar would be a good thing. What I'm really interested in learning is how does the system automatically switch over? Like, for example, if you have a brownout, what's called a brownout or power outage, you have these batteries, you use the solar panels store the electricity in the batteries and when you have a brownout, you want the system to automatically switch over to either the battery, maybe a generator, something like that, without a whole lot of interruption. You know, uh, maybe the TV might blink or the, the computer might blink, but um, the power might, might blink for a second, but you want, to, you want to be able to switch that over relatively quickly for the end user so that whatever they're in the middle of, of doing in the house, you know, the people in the house, they, they can just switch over. Now, there's a whole other company here in South Carolina that makes meters for electric use that goes on your house, but they are digital meters instead of the ones that spin around, you know, the analog meters. These ones are now digital 
and they have a little LED that shows you, um, you know, the current wattage use and that sort of thing. So it's another interesting thing is installing those. So I, I apply for different things online. Um, so far, like I said, I've applied for 40 different jobs online. And it's almost like a, a little race. Whoever's the first one to to contact me may make me an offer and hire me. I got an interview uh, Thursday morning <clears throat> with the solar company. But I don't think that's going to really be the, um, you know, permanent position. <clears throat> it involves getting up on the roof and actually doing the installation work and one of the questions that they ask is how comfortable are you with get being on the roof well I'm nervous and scared being on the roof if you're not I think something might be wrong with you because if you fall off that roof you could you could die <laughs> so I think it's uh it's respectable it's normal to have a, a certain amount of respect for, for heights and being up high have I been on the roof before yeah I've done a lot of work I've done roofing before I've installed um, what's called tube lights like sort of like skylights um, I've installed metal roofing I've cleaned a lot of gutters in my days <laughs> uh, yeah <clears throat> I've I've been up high on the ladder painting painted houses a lot way up on a ladder and uh, yeah it's it's scary I mean I could work up there at one time I was installing windows uh, during college really high windows up in the mountains and some condos and that was kind of scary too way up high on scaffolding so, you know, I've done a lot of different things in my life, and I think that helps, too, that uh, um, since you've had some experience with doing s similar things, it makes you a little more comfortable with being up high and, and working in that situation. Um, so, yeah, I, I, um, I'm going to at least go talk to them and see what they have to say. It may not be anywhere near enough pay, but... Uh, you know, I just don't like sitting around here, sitting around feeling like I'm not uh, doing anything makes me feel like I'm, I'm not putting in enough effort. And I have a family to take care of now over in the Philippines, and I want to be the best provider I can be, so I have to uh, do something. I can't just sit here and do nothing. I can't. It's, that's just not me. I've never been one to sit and wait for the phone to ring. I've always gone out there and tried to make something happen somehow, doing something. Um, so, uh, that's what I try to do. Um, so, thanks for your watching. Thanks for your time. And uh, please like and subscribe, hit the little button there, and check out a couple of other channels that I like. I like watching Bud Brown in uh, Dumaguete. You can look him up, uh, but just Bud, Bud Brown, I think. Um, Turquoise Sunsets is another one that I like. They just, they just uh, well, recently they came from the Philippines to Florida. I'm not sure if they're going to stay in Florida or go back, but... Right now they're living in Florida. <clears throat> um, what else? I can, there's an old dog in Dumaguete that's a pretty interesting guy. I like watching him. Anything else new? Oh, there's a couple in Texas that are um, that are YouTube vloggers. She's she's a Filipino. He's the husband, and they're preparing for a, a trip to go back. Um, even during the COVID here, they're, they're planning to go back. So that's interesting to watch. 
Okay. Thank you.